All right, for our clay peacocks, we are going to be combining two techniques today. We're going to be using a pinch pot out of a ball of clay, and we're going to use a slab. And a slab is a flat piece of clay. So I'm going to put the slab aside, and you're going to have a little um, square of clay that I would like you to round out to make a ball. And so to do that, the best thing to do is to just kind of pat it in your hands and roll it. You can use your, your palms are the best tools when making a pinch pot. So you're going to get yourself a nice ball and you're going to use your thumb and you're going to stick your thumb right inside and you're going to begin pinching using this method. You're going to pinch and as you pinch you're going to turn the clay around. Now, this is going to be um, a tea light holder, like a candle holder. So we don't want to pinch the um, pot too tall because this is going to be the body of our peacock. So you would just want to pinch the walls to be somewhat even. And then you're going to flatten the bottom by kind of banging it on the table. And I can tell my bottom is a little too thick, so I'm going to keep pinching. And you don't want to pinch your wall so that they go out too far, but you want to keep it kind of like a nice cup. Okay, so keep working your clay to a nice thickness, flatten the bottom, and then you'll be ready for the next part. Okay, so my pinch pot is ready, and I have tested, this is the candle that we would like to fit into it, so I've made sure that it fits right into the center of my pinch pot. Okay, so I can go ahead and put this aside. If you want, you can take some water and just kind of smooth out the edges, just in case you see any cracking, and then we can put this aside. Okay, so you're gonna get your slab next, and we are going to use a lace doily for texture. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna lay the lace doily down, you're gonna take a rolling pin, and you are going to very gently roll the doily into your slab. You don't need to press too hard. You'll see it, it becomes, um, it sinks into your clay. Okay, so put your roll pin aside, and then you're going to pull this up, and you can see we get this beautiful pattern here. Okay, so this is going to be the tail of the peacock. So you'll take your, and if you can see, this is going to be the pinch pot here. So we want this to come up, and you can use your knife and just kind of cut around. Okay. So I'm going to put this aside because we're going to use this for the head. All right, so here is the tail of the peacock. So remember, whenever you are joining something, you're going to use the scratchy tool and you're going to scratch up. This is where we're going to join. We're going to scratch this area and we're going to join it to the pinch pot. So I'm going to scratch the pinch pot. Scratching both sides. And then you'll take your water and you're going to wet this down. So we want to make sure we join this really well. And so you're going to take your tail and you're going to wrap your tail around like that. Okay, so now you want to make sure that this is really joined. So I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to smooth together, together this joint here. We want to make sure we have a really good seal here. And then we can flatten this out. And there is the peacock's, this is sort of back heavy, but we're going to add a head over here, which will make it stand up. Okay, so for the head of the peacock, you're going to take the clay that you had left over from your tail, and we're going to make a coil. So we're actually using three techniques. We've got the pinch pot, the slab, and the coil. So you're gonna smooth out your piece into a nice coil of clay by rubbing it. 
between your rolling it between your palms. Okay. Now you want to have the peacock's neck is going to be a little um, fatter, and you're going to kind of pinch up and create the head. And you'll have visuals to look at, and you'll kind of bend it down to make the um, the head of the peacock and smooth out the edges. You're going to have some areas where the clay was folded over on itself and you want to kind of just smooth that out and just kind of use the tools to sculpt the shape of the peacock's head. And once you have that, you're going to attach it to your base. So remember, we scratch. I'm going to scratch the back of this. And a little longer. And then we will add this. And remember, whenever you add two pieces, you want to make sure that you smooth them together. Okay, so now our peacock is balanced because we have the, the clay on this side balances out the tail. And so now you're going to use um, some of the tools here to, we've got an assortment of tools. And you're going to use these tools to add some detail. So if you want to carve some um, eyes and some more feathers over here, you can use your tools to do that. And we will put your name on the bottom. And then we will be glazing these using beautiful shades of blues, purples, and greens. Okay, so have fun making your peacock.